All right. So let's talk about the elephant in the room. The recession. You know, it's interesting to think about, though. You know, hard times make hard men. How can we make money during this recession? Well, people are going to have less spending money, but it's America. We're a, a nation of consumers. People like to consume things. But let's just, let's just first be smart about this, okay? And this is mostly from my perspective of, you know, being self-employed and uh, things of that nature. If we're going to be realistic, people are going to have less money because they got to they got to pay for their housing, which has gone up an insane amount. They got to pay for their gas to get around. Uh, they got to pay for their food, which has gone up. So the amount of extra spending money that people have is down, limited, if if anything. So if we want to make keep making money and keep killing it in this, you know, economic recession time or whatever, we have to think about getting into businesses that are necessary, like necessary, like people have to pay. So example, you know, vehicle, so you got to be a mechanic. If your car breaks, you got to pay money to fix your car or else everything is fucked. Now, they may not be able to, you know, get spinners on their car, but if you're a mechanic, you're going to be all right. You know, it's like, it's like a, a thought of, of safety, of things that are necessary, like, must-haves. So the must-haves are going to do do okay, right? They're going to survive. The luxury stuff, if you can target the affluent with your products though, you're going to be okay. You know, cuz the, the the rich are just going to keep getting richer. They've they've got their their shit bona fide. They're 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 good. So it's more about the middle class, the lower class. So we got to start thinking about what is there what are some side hustles that we can do that are must-haves? or that can pry on a certain things that human beings nowadays are naturally accustomed to, right? So laziness. People people want to be fucking lazy. You know, they just don't want to do the work. So if you can do the work for people, you'll still get paid. If you can provide a service for people that save people time, you'll still get paid. Anyways, let's get back to, to thinking about uh, things that are going to survive, right? Mechanics, going to survive. Totally cool. Um, you know, I've been thinking, you know, plumbers... All, everything that has to do with houses, you're probably going to be fine because the rich are going to keep buying houses, right? They got, they're going to get their loans. They might not be able to buy as many, or they might have to wait for a little while. But if pipes burst, um, if people need flooring, you know, these are real things that real people need. But that you just need to be smart with your money, okay? So, construction, houses, bartenders, you know, alcohol is always going to be a recession opportunity because people are fucking stressed out the only thing in america that's legal other than you know we we probably gonna do pretty good too uh, but people go to the bars uh they buy alcohol they might not be able to buy cheeseburgers anymore but they'll they'll save some money to go get fucking drunk at the bar so alcohol maybe start like a print on demand shirt that just says alcohol or has things about drinking people like to party right you gotta think about like when people are stressed what can people do to survive when they're extra stressed, you know, cigarettes, uh, alcohol, marijuana, the sins, you know, the sins <laughs> are going to do pretty good, which is a scary thing to think about. Another good hustle that I'm, I've honestly been really thinking about is security. So, you know, I'm an army veteran, been thinking about starting a security business. Uh, I don't know the ins and outs or the legalities of it, but I feel like security is going to be big because crime's going to go up. Um, fucked up shit's going to happen. So insurance is going to be another big one. People are going to need to start getting insurance on a lot of shit because shit could go south. You know, there's also got to think about all the natural disasters that are going down. You know, there's a lot more fires going on. A lot There's going to be a lot of hurricanes and tornadoes and, and shit because of global warming. Um, it's just really fucking hot. So, you know, AC in Arizona, you're going to, you're going to be good. Things of these nature though. Things that are realistic are easier to think about, right? So how, how can we, well, we can provide leads for these businesses. That's always been a big thing. All businesses need leads, all right? And more importantly than leads, people need sales. We're, we're just going down the roadmap of what we need to think about going into these uh, different opportunities, these different times. And then maybe we can think of, and then we'll talk about how to really break out of poverty during these times, okay? So we got the understanding that, 
things are probably going to get worse before they get better. Okay. And I'm going to give you a time window in my theory, but it's, I've also heard somebody else say it. So it is what it is. Um, I think we've got this Christmas, right? We've got everything is going to, you know, we're like a, a beat up fucking jalopy right now. We're like still, still chugging. Um, and we're going to fucking chug into the, the new, into the new year next year. And, and then we're going to break down. <laughs> so we got like six months to really get our shit together and just, you know, just cover your ass basically, you know, just get liquid, um, you know, get liquid. If you have cash, you're going to be good. You're going to be smiling because you're going to get a lot of discounts on some really great shit. You know, I would buy houses, I would buy land, um, but only at a steep, steep, steep discount. You know, you'll be able to beat people up because people, when you're rich, you get your price that you want because the poor just will take whatever what, the lowest that they can do, you know, to keep the, the things going. Anyway, so we got till about the end of the year at the beginning of next year, shit's probably going to hit the fan. And the other good news, though, is this is only going to last by two or three years in theory. Nobody knows the fucking future, but there's downturns and then. We usually get our shit together and things get back up. So the good news is, though, is for all the people that are like myself and, you know, younger generations, like this could be a great opportunity to really get our shit together. And then we can ride the next bull run. You know, we'll be able to ride that one up. And and if we're thinking ahead, if we're saying, okay, right now it's time to think winter, 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 and um, save stash some fucking money away don't buy a bunch of stupid shit unless you absolutely want to and for the next three years just be ready to grind and then on the next upswing though like if you buy you know crypto and it's fucking dirt cheap if you buy some dirt cheap rea- like real estate when everything everything crashes it's going to go up again in the future and we might go through a whole nother thing because if you know anything about America, we're greedy and all the Wall Street and all those people, they don't like losing money. They don't like going down. They're going to figure out a way to blow shit back up. A ridiculous amount of money. So we got till the end of the year. Things are going to be cruising along kind of how they are right now until about then. And then things will probably get worse. So we have to prepare now, like get things going take massive action find stable hustles more more ideas of, of side hustles of what we've talked about so the the everyday like the pair of businesses they will still be around like a handyman business or a handy woman business oh cleaning people i've been thinking also about creating some cleaning companies lots of lots of cleaning companies people don't like to clean they're like i said if you can if you can do a service and, and people are lazy or, or save people time you'll you'll be You'll be able to make a lot of money. You'll be able to survive, and you can scale these things up. If you have a small window of things that are good and you manage your money and your time, you can make a fucking shitload of money while everybody else is going broke and getting fucked. So let's get back to it. Repairs on vehicles, houses, repair computers or iPhones. Um, If you can repair screens, anything of that that nature, you'll probably be all right. Do something around security. Security is going to be big. Um, guns are going to be big martial arts. Maybe martial arts are going to be big <laughs> because people are going to be getting fucked up and stop getting robbed. Um, I think a drop shipping business where you focus on pants and backpacks that people can't pickpocket, you know, anti pickpocket stuff. If you could sell cameras that watch people's houses and things like that, this could, that could be a really big thing. It's going to help a lot of people make some money. If you can help people not boil you know i've been thinking about doing a drop shipping called it's too fucking hot <laughs> i don't know if i'll do it uh but if you start thinking about things that can help people stay cool in the hot summer time and the hot summer stuff uh those are going to be big so safety basically repairs safety um keeping things clean you know money loves cleanliness start a side hustle or a side cleaning business bob proctor he did everything with just starting a cleaning company in the last depression, I feel like, <laughs> or whatever. But you find some people that are willing to pay you a monthly amount. You find people that are willing to work. You make a little bit of money in between. Everybody's happy. Everybody cleans places. They clean shit up. If you can start a trash company or a hauling company, that's a pretty easy one, too. Uh, you get one of those dump trailers. You fill it up with shit from people's 
you know, real estate people or people that are moving. And that's going to be big. Um, storage units are going to be huge. Helping people move is another one. Another one that we got to think about is who's going to have the money still, right? Uh, if every youngster is just going to be working their balls off just to fucking get by, we're really going to have to go more towards marketing towards the affluent, people that already have a shitload of money, and the older people that saved a lot of their money, the baby boomers. Another thing that's happening with this economic stuff is, you know, people are living longer. So the baby boomers, the older generation, they still have some of their money, hopefully. So we have to think about if we're going to do marketing, if we're going to be creating stuff, we have to do low ticket uh, and really exciting to the youth and high ticket and expensive as fuck to the older generation. Uh, And I know that these are very generic and things. Nothing I'm saying is financial advice. This is just me brain dumping my thoughts on the recession and and things of that nature and giving everybody an opportunity to think for themselves and understand that maybe it's good to prepare for this sort of stuff. Maybe it's good to save some money. Maybe it's good to create, you know, side hustles and other opportunities that are going to potentially take off in the future using these sort of ways of thinking. And if everything does turn out great, you're still good. Fuck it. But affluent, older generation, still are probably going to have some money. I'm going to really just focus on helping people generate more sales. My biggest thing that I've just been going through is I think I had to go through this transformation of, you know, I created a whole book and a whole thing about thriving and health. Okay, so one of the biggest things in life and right now is our health. So we have to think about this. If we're going into a recession, that means that people are going to become really unhealthy. People are going to buy cheap garbage food. People are going to work really hard and not go out and pay for the gym. They're not going to go outside because they won't have any money to go to events or to go to shopping even or go buy shit. Taking care of yourself is number one, right? Like if we had to make a list of prepare for the fucking end of times or the recession that's happening, take care of yourself is number one. That includes mental health. You have to think about all the depressed people that just want to be like everybody else and fucking, you know, make money. People are, a lot of men especially are going to go through a very hard time because they're not going to feel like they're providing for their family and For some reason, all men out there, if we're not providing a service um, or doing something, yeah, if we're not providing, we we get this sense of worthlessness. You're not worthless. You're just living your life. This is an experience. Sometimes you got to experience fucking being poor (laughs) and not being able to totally provide. No, it doesn't feel good. Uh, But yes, there's still tons of opportunity and there's still tons of things that we can do, even if we're completely broke. And it doesn't take money to have class. So anyways, mental health, physical health. Big, 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 big. More important for you to ask yourself, what can I do to make sure that when this next level of stress, this next time of shenanigans happens, that I can continue to stay healthy mentally and physically and not let the world beat me down. Okay, very important. Maybe it's a good message that you could really hype on to mental health, physical health, surviving the fucking recession of whatever's going to happen. And, you know, hopefully the recession doesn't happen. But again, it's fucking there. (laughs) It's like Godzilla's outside. You can stay inside if you want, but he's fucking shit up. So (laughs) Uh, anyways, keep your physical health, mental health, because people are going to have to eat shit cheap garbage food they're not gonna have any money to go do the regular things that they're used to going and doing they're gonna be super depressed uh the the mental health of the country with a downturn of economy is gonna get dangerous that's intense actually to think about because we're already fucked up from this whole covid thing and it's so weird like if you read the history books like this exact same thing almost happened like a hundred years ago they had a fucking Black Plague or whatever the fuck it was, and then massive recession in 1923 or something like that. 
Like, what the fuck? Why? What is what? What the fuck? Why does history really rhyme? Anyways, things that are going to be getting you through is learning new skills. Spend all your fucking money on yourself and accumulating so many new fucking skills that you are worth something in the marketplace. You are gold. You just shit gold because you fucking got all these goddamn skills. And like if you are young and we're going into this recession, good time to just get education. Just put your head down. Focus on improving yourself. Okay, find any way that you possibly can do it. The good news is information is free still. There's libraries. Um, You can learn any of these skills and it's just going to be good. Other things to think about is if you do have an opportunity um, to do something, you're going to have to put your ego in check, all right? Egos are going to get the biggest lashing uh, <laughs> during a recession. We all think we're so fucking cool, you know, hashtag living in your van and stuff like that, but it's just like our egos, we have to solve poverty, okay? So our egos got to be put in check. We got to figure out what honest work that we can do. We got to make honest money, Um, and understand that it's all going to be okay. And we just have to constantly be thinking, if I do this, what's something beneficial that is going to be good for me in the future, right? Because if this is just what I have to do now, that's fine. That doesn't mean this is who I am. This is just what I'm doing right now. Uh, I think, I think it's whatever the president grant, the guy that's on the $50 bill. I think I told the story in the last podcast, but I think it's cool. Fought in the war against Mexico and he was like a killer leader he fucking crushed it that was the first war and then after that war he wound up in some interesting situations and he he had to sell firewood with his father on the side of the road to make money and then basically one of his lieutenants or captains or whatever saw him selling firewood on the side of the road and he goes grant what are you doing you were a you know intense super general in the last war you did amazing stuff and grant replies I'm solving poverty. He never for a second let what he was doing, you know, selling firewood, going from a general to selling firewood, uh, make a statement of who he was as a man. It was just what he was doing at the time to solve poverty, (laughs) to fucking make some money. You know what I'm saying? It's all good. He went on to become the general in another war, and now he's on the $50 bill, and he became president of the United States. So long story short, if you got to do some shit, you got to get your hands dirty, you know, good for you. You're just solving poverty. Not a big deal. Another thing is to, if you have cash, save it and look for some really good opportunities. Because remember, this isn't going to last. So if you can get some stuff at some dirt cheap prices, man, you're going to be styling. And also, if you got a good job, um, just stick with it for a little while. Quit Focus in on other shit and just focus on doing a really good job so that they can't afford to lay you off. Make yourself a linchpin. Make yourself more valuable in the workplace. Have conversations frequently frequently with your boss. Those hard conversations about, hey, what's more? What can I do to be of more value to the company? Uh, and things of that nature. And just buckle up. Buckle up, buttercup. You know, especially if you've been working real hard to get where you want. The worst thing that can happen is you get fired and then you have to figure out what you're going to do during a recession. It'd be better to plan now and say, hey, I'm going to do everything I can right now so that if I do get fired because they have to lay people off because, I mean, people get laid off. I work for fucking massive companies. They don't give two fucks about people. Sometimes they just lay everybody off. But if you can try right now to make yourself as fancy as possible, you know, for your company so you don't get laid off, it's a good idea. But then invest in your skills as well. Maybe keep a job, start a second skill or a second thing that you do in the evenings. Um, People are going to have to probably get multiple jobs um, to stay afloat. You know, everybody's got kids too. That's another big one. Um, Kids and and animals, people are going to still spend money on their kids and their animals. So um, if you can start a daycare or an animal daycare, these are other good side hustles that might help you. Even just walking dogs, that might be good. So Again, just spitballing some good ideas, some things to start thinking about coming into what we're coming into. And yeah, I mean, I want to now take an idea moment to think about what we can do to get rich during this recession. All right, so we've kind of broken it down. Like what things things are going to happen, right? 
Things are probably going to keep getting expensive. People are going to not have money to buy frivolous things and are going to have to mostly focus on just getting the essentials. People are going to get unhealthy mentally and physically. There's going to be a raise in crime and just overall struggle. People are going to be more dickish and and standoffish and you know things are going to get kind of shitty for a while so what can we do though to make some money during this recession number one again i think you should take all your money extra money that you have and invest it in yourself that is the first thing i would do the next thing i would do is start to play a long game that generates realistic wealth Right now, if you can create a a cash flow business and be cash flow positive and you have money, you know, buy shit cheap as fuck. Like find any, any opportunities that could potentially go up in value in the future. All right. Again, and, and everything, everywhere, every country in the world, really all they care about is economic growth. The biggest economic growth right now is coming from technology and trade, right? And then cryptocurrency and things like that. I think all these things are going to go up. So if you can create a cash positive business doing something that works, save that cash and really start to examine things that are going to go up in value. Wait for the bottom, right? Save as much cash as we can. Wait for the bottom. Get yourself positioned to get things at some dirt cheap prices. I mean, we can, you gotta be, you're never gonna time the the market, but if you can get land, you know, real estate, stocks, skills, uh, these are all gonna be huge things for you to make money in the future. Think about for your children, create financial wealth, so on and so forth. So realistic businesses that create cash flow that can survive economic t- hard times to getting extremely liquid and having a lot of cash, you know, which is probably going to go down in value or maybe not. It might become very valuable because not everybody's going to have expendable cash and investing as much as you can in yourself and then saving as much extra cash to buy and look for opportunities. Actively look for opportunities for When this comes to a a bottom, right? And at the bottom, buy a bunch of shit and then ride it back up. That's how a lot of people are going to be able to survive this economic hard time. Be, you know, you got to be kind of frugal right now, but actively have your investor cap on looking for the next bottom-ish, right? The (laughs) bottom-ish. Because... I mean, a lot of a lot of shit's gonna start switching hands. You know, a lot of the big money, a lot of the big banking, you're gonna buy real estate. They're gonna buy a lot of shit. You need to get yourself established for this opportunity because there's gonna be a big opportunity here. But if you're off in you know survival mode, you're not gonna be able to see the opportunity. You're not gonna be able to see the op- the opportunity for abundance that is gonna be basically put in front of everybody. I mean, Google was started in recessions. Tons of millionaires have been in recessions. Another thing is cheap entertainment. People are going to want anything to get their mind off of their lives. You know, so I guess drugs, entertainment. You know, Hollywood was built uh, during the last Great Depression. You know, so just start to think ahead. Start to think of skills that are going to be in high demand and will pay you well for the future and start thinking of side hustles and things that are very realistic that people really need and look for opportunities and be ready for opportunities in the future. All right, and I hope that was helpful. That is today's video.